Beautiful mother of three, Maya Millet was full of life until the day she vanished, seemingly into thin air. Now, was this a random disappearance or was it embedded in something that puts it into context? Her sister Mary Chris and brother-in-law Richard are here looking for answers and we're trying to keep a spotlight on this because someone knows something. Um, and I wanted to take a look at this interview uh, that Larry did with uh, KGTV. And to do that, uh, I, I, I had it transcribed because you heard the tone and everything of what he said. But she says, so tell me, you got into an argument then, the last time you saw her was actually in the house. So he says, yes. So he's acknowledging here that there was an argument uh, that was going on. And, and so she didn't, and she didn't take a vehicle. He says, no, no one saw her leave. And he says, um, no, but on Friday I could still hear, like I didn't physically see her when I got home, but that's like normal. Um, well, first off, he's answering a question that isn't asked. That always bothers me, but he says it's like normal that I didn't see her when we got home because, you know, we have a lot of bedrooms in a two-story house, and, you know, we kind of like, well, I give her space. So, but that's why every time someone says on Thursday, yes, physically or visually see her, but for me, it's Friday. That's important timeline-wise. Um, I could hear her rustling around making dinner for herself in another bedroom and sleeping with the kids in the bedroom. So he's saying he's up in another bedroom? Correct. And here's her downstairs. So upstairs and she's downstairs kind of like kind of like a roommate thing um now he didn't regard her as a roommate he fought he did not want this marriage to end right no yes. no no he's, never he's trying his best to put them to you know to keep it together his you know their marriage um okay now one of the things that i'm concerned about here is when I'm looking at her, uh, he's referring to her. And we have lots of room, two stories, and I give her space. And I could hear, see, didn't see her, could hear her uh, rustling around making dinner for herself. Um, and then uh, over here, roommate. Uh, he's distancing himself from her. He's not using her name. He's not personalizing this in any way. Uh, how many times has she left before and how long has it been? Well, like before, she would just like stay uh, or park somewhere or go like in the parking lot. Um, what the hell is he talking about here? That she just goes and sits in a parking lot? Um, that's what he mentioned, that, yeah. that just to stay away from him. And then he says, you know, that's years back even. So they're asking him about where she is right now, and he says, well, that's years back even this past year. So he goes years back, then pulls it up to this past year. You know, she would just stay away. This year, like, you know, go out drinking with friends and stay at a friend's house, you know, and try to sleep it off. A couple of months, a couple of months, she's been, you know, like wanting your space. So she'll go out with family to places and she'll go out for days and stuff. So... This, to me, I see him distancing himself and then, like, going out with friends and staying gone for days. So, like, I don't know where she is. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.